where people are calling Tip Liberty a solution to the challenge of the people in Camp Ashraf. Does this look like liberty where people are going to be housed like prisoners? What a contradiction in terms that we call this Camp Liberty when in fact what we are party to is the imprisonment of freedom-loving people. When are we going to learn from history? And people say, look at history, look at President Kennedy and what he said in Berlin, that we are all Berliners during that crisis. Today we're all Ashrafis because their fight is our fight. And if we allow them to be murdered, then we have looked the other way while our brothers and sisters are murdered. And just like my uncle died over Europe because he understood that the cause of freedom was one that was universal. It was for people of all places of the world, such that a guy with an Italian last name named Torricelli and a guy with an Irish not last name named Kennedy were fighting side by side in World War II, representing a principle a principle called freedom and human rights for all because that's what unites us and hopefully our country can continue to move forward and ultimately live up to that principle that it was founded upon that all people are created equal and if we do that and we believe that then we will not be able to allow this situation to continue and so to Madam Rajavi, we need to work even harder to do what we can to support you because we're doing the easy part. You're doing the hard part. Your family's lives are on the line. All that we have to do is cast a vote to welcome some refugees, to take a stand none of which involves the sacrifice of our own lives. But in Madam Rajavi's case, it involves the sacrifice of her very family's life. Let us be humbled by people who are willing to not only stand up for what they believe, by what they say, but by what they do. And let's learn from the Iranian dictators to not believe what they say but to believe what they do. And after July 9th of 2009 and April 8th of 2011, we should know what the Iranian mullahs and their puppets in Iraq stand for, because they told us to it, not by words, but on deeds. And those deeds tell more of the truth than every word that can be uttered by their propaganda machine in Tehran. So this is a question of life and death, and that is why we're here today, and that is why we commit ourselves once again, Madam Rajavi, to your cause, because your cause is our cause.